well good night I thought I might show you a few tricks for um when you feel like you're coming down with the flu as I seem to be this is the original bottle it's not the one I still use well, actually it is the bottle I still use but I make my own and when you hop out your car and start having a sneezing fit and you blow blowing all this crap out your nose one thing that can really help is to take a snifter of this so I'm going to take a snifter of this colloidal silver if I can breathe <coughs> I have to blow my nose again Ooh, that's nasty. That's not as bad as you would think. Alright, so you gotta. draw some through that helps cleanse I'm sure there's another method people use like the old teapot or something nasal cleansing but... so the cloner will take a few minutes to kill off all that obviously bacteria I've been breathing in all day and then after a while I'll be able to blow all this out again for the second time now I'm not a pill popper as I've explained many times before this little fella here though is what we call lecithin l-e-c-i-t-h-i-n lecithin now lecithin works by breaking down mucus it's kind of like works a little bit the way detergent works on oil to break it down so when you're using washing soap in your kitchen sink to cut up the oil to break it down lecithin sort of works the same way internally and I haven't taken any of these in months oh maybe weeks I take the odd one here and there I used to take it every single day and I'm gonna have to start again but lecithin is brilliant it comes from the soy plant or the sunflower plant see the soy lecithin or sunflower lecithin lecithin it's not ideally the best source to take it from and especially not in a capsule but sometimes we've got no choice if you're fat and you want to break down the fats lecithin is the way to go sort of breaks down that barrier between oil and water which the cells obviously need oh, I can feel it freeing up a little bit now a little better a little better this might be it three or four stage process clearing this shit out and I don't even eat dairy how about that but anytime I eat fried food fatty foods or anything lesser than pop one of them down your gullet or a seed stock <sighs> you're gonna have to chase it or something obviously you can't just eat it dry so get yourself to the nearest beer cabinet. Oh, there's one that I prepared earlier. Swallow <laughs> uh, it down. And soon she'll be good as gold.
and we know gold is good because it's it's like good with L in it and L means love and la Lord Lord God gold yeah sure just because we were created to be gold miners admit it physically or mentally or any other way you look at it we're just digging for gold turmeric <laughs> turmeric isn't it funny how it all comes around this one here this one I prepared earlier this was my honey with ginger I used almost the last of it up be just enough to make my cordial to take to work tomorrow, my fizzy drink. I just make it with that and a bit of cloudy apple cordial. But the turmeric one, when I made this with turmeric, that's probably why I'm getting crook because I ran out. That's not even it. It's empty. E M P T Y E M P T Y E M P T Y and empty is its status. I don't even know why I'm still ranting. I'm just gonna go blow my nose again. <coughs> oh yeah. Getting so much better all the time. It's getting better all the time. <laughs> That's just made it worse. Anyway, I've got things to do. I'm going to go and make some dinner. Yes, I do eat every once in a while. I'm going to go and make some hash cookies with mushrooms and beer sauce. See you later.